we are out here bright and early on this cold Duluth day doing a hands-on with the Camp Snap camera, a digital disposable. Look at that beaver. As far as specs and body design go, there's simply not a lot to talk about with the Camp Snap. Simple is the key word here because that's the way they designed it. If we were to delve into the specs, it's an eight megapixel sensor with a wide-ish lens and two buttons on the entire camera. Well, one button, one switch to turn on the LED flash, auto or off. So the camera came out this past year and just know that no, I'm not sponsored or affiliated with Cam Snap. I wasn't sent this camera. In fact, I didn't even buy it from them. I found it used off of the Macari for a little bit more than it would have cost to buy it new. I just didn't want to wait around. And as you can see, I have the Purgatory Brown model to match the landscape of the in-between season we're in here in the Northland. The camera more or less is based off of what you would have found maybe a decade or two ago at a gas station or a pharmacy. And of course, I'm talking about a throwaway camera, disposable. But the only difference is this is digital. So you don't have to, took a picture there. So you can skip the middleman with developing film and reuse this and recycle. Part in the audio here, we are out with the Camp Snap camera trying to do some street photography. I'm both excited and nervous at the same time, not just for my physical safety, but because this is all auto and I can't see what I'm taking shots of. So I don't know how these pictures will turn out. Hopefully good, we'll see. Camp Snap isn't particularly a fast camera, especially for street photography in both startup and actual use. So I've just been leaving it on and so far the battery life is great on this, especially considering it's cold out here. Hasn't died on me yet. The idea of a screenless digital camera is nothing new. And I'm not talking about getting an X Pro 3 by any means, but toy cameras and shooters of the likes have been around for at least over a decade. I can think of a couple I had in middle school, little keychain digitals that shoot like two megapixel images. Tokina makes some, and even my Holga that I did a video of a while back. That said, this is the cheapest and probably the easiest to use. I'll bite less features, but still fun. So we're gonna try to beat the ship to the lift bridge and hopefully get some nice shots with the camp snap and doing so. Although minimal in design, there's a lot to love about the Camp Snap camera here. Again, like my whole gut forces me to be more present minded, both with my shooting and life in general. <laughs> Aside from the wushu, subjective, artistic side of things, when talking about the internals as well, for such a new cheap camera on the market that is. I love the fact that it has both a built-in battery that's rechargeable via USB-C port and built-in memory that you could take up to 2,000 shots with before having to dump them on the computer, delete, and recycle, which is a lot more than I initially figured because, you know, digital disposable, maybe 30 to 100 shots, but 2,000 is insane. So you don't have to worry about missing your shot the first time, just try again. Aside from that, it did very well in the cold weather up here in the Northland, 
So it's about 25 degrees when I used it. I left it on the entire time, exposed to the elements. Thumbs up. Also, CamSnap says that it's drop proof simply because there's not a lot of internals to break with it. So yeah, don't be afraid to let it loose. And I'm not trying to be crass, but a camera like this is made to be bad. So a micro sensor with a toy lens and you can only take single images without seeing them. All of the negatives are purposeful, but if there was anything I had to change about the cam snap, I wish it had a regular flash instead of this cheap LED because sometimes it's simply not bright enough, but it gets the job done in most occasions. And all these considered, you can take some awesome images with this camp snap here. Whether you're looking to get some normal looking clean shots, you can do so. The JPEGs edit all right in post-production, but if you wanted to go for that more lamography, guttural, grainy film shot, you can also get that with the camp snap. The common denominator is you just really don't know what you're gonna get till you're at the computer, which is the fun of it, right? That's it for now. Thank you for watching. Subscribe to Matt's Notes on Instagram and I'll see you later.